Hello and welcome to today's episode on chromography. Chromography is a great tool for evaluation of the vocal function. It can, however, not stand alone. It needs to be paired with high-speed films for optimal results. In the previous presentation, we showed you some of the principles of chromography, which means that the right and left vocal fold can be defined for regularity and specified for right and left vocal fold function. We earlier showed you electroglottography, and these two together gives an exact closed face. What is interesting in this picture is that the chromography gives you the intonation pattern in time, and as you can see, it takes around 10 duty cycles before the chromographic intonation pattern is stable. Note that the chromography is based on the yellow line on the high-speed film. This picture displays chromography with the movement of the vocal folds in time taken from a high-speed film. On this chromography, you can clearly conclude that the vocal folds do not make contact. Here is another patient where the intonation pattern is presented. In the middle, you have the high-speed film and on either side you have the beginning and end of intonation. The chromography examination line can be placed at any location of the vocal folds. Underneath you have a different patient. The interesting part is the two chromographies on the left. On the top the examination line have been placed at the posterior of the vocal folds and the bottom is from the middle of the vocal folds. This paper presents updated instrumental measurements of chromography. And in this paper, they try to provide reference data on chromography. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.